Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back with me, Nathan. In this video, I want to show you a new AI-powered terminal that has better UI, great performance, and compatible with many models. So just recently, I found this new AI coding terminal called Crush CLI. This project turns out to be the new version of the original open code. Uh, for a bit of a background, this original open code is now split as SST open code and this Crush CLI because the team members want to go in different directions. So this Crush CLI is a collaboration between one of the original team members with Charm, the company that makes cool open source projects for the terminal. They say it's your new coding bestie, available in your favorite terminal. It allows you to wire your tools, your code, and your workflows into your LLM of choice. For the features, it has multi-model support so you can choose from a wide range of LLMs or add your own via OpenAI or Anthropic compatible APIs. It's also flexible meaning you can switch between LLMs mid-session while preserving context. And then it's session based so you can maintain multiple work sessions and contexts per project. It also has LSP or language server protocol so that Crush understand programming languages better. It's extensible so you can add capabilities using MCPs. And lastly, it works everywhere. It has first class support in every terminal on Mac OS, Linux, or Windows, both for PowerShell and WSL, also in FreeBSD, OpenBSD, and NetBSD. So this is good news for those who use Windows, as usually only Linux and Mac OS are supported by coding terminals. This one natively supports PowerShell, so it's awesome to see. Next, let me show you how to install this tool and see how good it really is. Now before we get into the exciting part, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on the subscribe button down below and please help me reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year as it will mean a lot to me making me feel more excited to create useful videos just like this one. Alright, to get started with Crush, you simply need to run one of the installation commands available on its GitHub repo. There are so many commands you can use, there's Homebrew for Mac and Linux, NPM if you already have Node, and for Windows, there's Winget and Scoop commands. And down here, there are commands for Debian, Fedora, or you can just install it with Go Installer. I think I will use NPM to install it, but you can use the other commands that are compatible with your OS. Copy the command and then open the terminal, paste the command, and press Enter. Once the package is installed, run the agent using the crush command. When you run it for the first time, Crush will ask you to choose the model you want to use. For now, I want to use the Quantry Coder, as I have used it frequently with KiloCode as well. There is also the free tier API in Open Router, but it's usually rate limited, so let's just go with a paid one. And then you can enter your Open Router API key here to use the model. Next, Crush will ask if you want to scan the current project to create a Crush Markdown file. It's basically a summary of your project, similar to the Cloud Markdown file. If you're starting a new project, that you can simply skip this, but I will run it as I have a dashboard for a personal finance app in this folder. You can see the dashboard right here. It's a simple dashboard created using HTML and Tailwind for a personal finance application. Let's get back to the terminal and wait for a moment until the initialization is complete. It will scan the current project to see if there's any rules or agents markdown file. You can also initialize it anytime in Crush menu. I will show you how to do it later. After the scan is complete, it will write the Crush markdown file and ask us for your permission to write it down. You can allow or deny the permission as usual. I will just allow it here. And once the file is generated, here's the main interface of Crush. Personally, I think it looks better than Cloud Code or Gemini. It's a bit more colorful without being flashy. First, you can press tab to focus on the chat or prompt. You can scroll the chat with up and down keys. And there's the green line on the left side to highlight the current selection. You can copy the chat if you need it. Uh, next, you can also press Ctrl P to see all available commands like this. Here, you can create a new session, and there's the Ctrl plus N shortcut to run the same option. After that, you can switch session here, and then there's the switch model option. Here, you can switch the model quite easily. You can switch the model in the middle of a session without losing context, but I haven't tried that myself yet. You can select the model you want to use for large or small tasks over here, and then you can select the model by pressing Enter. Next, there is also the YOLO mode which enables Crush to run all commands without asking for approval. And then there is Initialize Project, which basically creates the Crush Markdown file for you. 
And that is all about the settings. If you want to add file as context, you can type the slash command. And here we can see the files currently available on this project. If you want to add LSPs or MCPs, then you have to configure them manually in cross.json file. There are guides and examples in the GitHub repo, so you can look into it if you want to. There is also no advanced features such as custom slash commands or sub-agents. And there is no agent or as mode toggle. They might add those in the future though, since this is still a new release. Alright, so let's try to run a task with Crush. Here I will ask it to create the income menu interface. User should be able to view, add, edit, and remove income data. Create it as a separate income.html file and link it to the dashboard menu. Use the existing style and component as much as you can. Send the prompt in and let Crush work on it for a moment. Based on my experience, the terminal works quite fast. And after scanning the current project, Crush proceeds to write the file for us. Uh, let me skip a bit here. And here is the income.html file. And I will allow Crush to write the file to the project. And then it will want to update the index.html file to link the income menu to the new HTML page. Uh, so let's allow it as well. And with that, the changes are complete and we can view the output in the browser. And let's go there and refresh the page and then click on the income menu. And here's the result. And with this income UI, we can view and then add new data with this button. So let's try that. Add some dummy data here and then click save. Hmm, it seems the data isn't added. Uh, currently, all data is still static as it's not connected to a database yet. I will probably ask Crush to adjust this so the data is updated just for the session. But anyway, all the interface here works well. Uh, the edit icon can open the pop-up menu to edit the data. And the delete icon also send a confirmation here. The styling also follows the existing style, so this generation is pretty good to create a static front end that I will connect to the back end later. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining my YouTube membership where you can use this channel's emojis, get early access to new videos, plus a lot more. And that's how Crush CLI works. Overall, it really is a nice coding agent in the terminal that has awesome UI with smooth transitions, which is quite different from the others. Comparing features, however, it's still like advanced features that you can find in Cloud Code or Gemini CLI, such as custom slash commands, using IDE for reviewing changes, or sub-agents. But that's understandable since this is still a new project. If you don't use those advanced features, then Crush is already a very nice agentic terminal. It's written in Go, has minimalist, unique UI with great user experience, and it's really fast. I think I will use this a lot for smaller tasks that don't need custom slash commands or sub-agents. It particularly plays nicely with Quantry Coder as a simple coding agent, such as refactoring Tailwind CSS classes and creating mockups for designs. And now we have come to the end of this video. So what do you think about Crush CLI? I encourage you to try it out for yourself and let me know about your experiences. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, Co with Nathan is a channel dedicated to simplify complex tech topics so that you can master them easily. Make sure you subscribe if that's something you find interesting. Make sure you like this video, turn on the notification bell, all the good stuff as it helps this channel to grow. With that being said, thanks again for watching until the end. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye bye.